In this video, we are going to learn about the selection of different frames in different refractive errors. Like in myopia, we need what kind of frames and in hypermetropia, we need what kind of frames and in astigmatism as well. So for this, we need to learn about the properties, the qualities and characteristics of convex lenses and concave spherical lenses. You know about the concave lenses, the minus lenses, or you can say the diverging lenses, which diverge the light rays. These minus lenses, these minus spherical lenses actually, they are very thin at the center, as you can see, and they are very thick at the periphery, at the edges, right? And if you talk about the hyperopic lenses, the plus lenses, or you can say the converging lenses, these lenses are very thick at the center and very thin at the periphery, at the edges. And now we will take some examples like if you are myopic patient, if you have minus prescription, uh, you are free to choose any frames. But if you have smaller prescription, like you have 0.5 minus or minus 0.75 or minus 1 or 1 1.5 or one, you can say at least minus 2. If you have a smaller prescription in myop, then you can choose any frame. You can choose round frames, you can choose rectangle frames, you can choose square frames you can change, choose any of the size of the frames. But if you have a higher prescription in myopia, a higher prescription in minus spherical correction, then you have to keep some important points in your mind. So for high myopic correction, like minus three, minus four, or minus six, or more than minus six, if you have high minus prescription, then first point you have to keep it in mind is then your frame size should be smaller because you know about the property of the minus lens the minus lens is very thin at the center and very thick at the periphery so if you choose the frame like this it is a bigger frame comparatively then the thickness of the frame would be higher and higher at the periphery of the frame and it looks very awkward so you have to choose a smaller frame like this right you have to choose a smaller frame so by choosing the smaller frame, the thickness of the lens, of the minus lens, would be reduced. So you have to be very careful while you are choosing your frame if you have a higher prescription of minus lenses. And the second thing which you have to keep it in mind for selection of frame for high prescription minus lenses, that your frame should be of plastic material, not a metal. Right? So the reason is, as you can see in this plastic frame the edges or you can say the rim of this frame is of high thickness so if i choose a high thickness of lens of minus lens that thickness could be hide in this rim of the plastic frame but if i choose a metal frame like this you can see the rim of this frame is very thin so the thickness of the high minus lenses would be outside the frame and that looks very awkward so you have to choose a plastic frame if you have a minus higher prescription and the third thing is you have to choose a plastic frame with a round corner as you can see here these are corners of the frame and for high prescription minus lenses you have to choose a frame with a round corner so in the round corners the thickness of the high prescription minus lenses can hide easily right and if I choose these these types of frames as you can see here the corners of these frames are rectangles so the thickness would be outside of the frame right so for minus prescription for minus higher higher prescription and minus your frame should be smaller should be in plastic material right and should be the corner should be of in round shape and now we will discuss about the frame selection in a hyperopic patient so if you are using high plus lenses then you have to keep some important points in mind as well and the first point is then the size of the frame should be smaller like in myopia like in myopic lenses right so if we, if i choose a frame with bigger size then you know that the plus lenses is more thicker more thick at the center and more thin at the periphery so if i choose a bigger frame 
then the thickness at the center would be high and simultaneously the periphery of that lens would be more thinnest right so it is impossible for the plus lenses to fix in the groove in this groove of the frame because the thickness of the periphery of the plus lens is very thin so it would be impossible for the lens with the thinner edges with the thinner periphery to accommodate in the groove of the frame so that's why the frame should be in smaller size while you are using a high plus prescription and another important thing which you have to keep it in mind for plus prescriptions you have to choose a full frame as you know that the lens the plus lens is thicker at the center and is very thinnest at the periphery so it would be impossible for you to accommodate a lens with thinnest periphery in a half rimless frame like this or in a rimless frame so you have to avoid a rimless frame or a half rimless frame for plus prescriptions and the third thing is which is common as in myopia as in myopic correction the edges the corners of the frame should be round so another important thing about the high plus prescription is back vertex distance you have to be very careful about the back vertex distance in high prescriptions and what is back vertex distance the back vertex distance is the distance between the eyeball or the cornea you can say from the back of the lens right this is called the back vertex distance and if the back vertex distance is longer is greater in high plus prescription then the patient will look like a bugged eye the patient with a bigger eye because the plus lens has the quality has the property of magnification so the eyes will become more bigger than the normal so to reduce this effect the back vertex distance should be the lower at its proper place hope all these important points are clear see you in the next video